What is up YouTube? Back again with another wasp nest removal. Uh, the yellow jackets in this nest were in a little tree on the side of the guy's house. Uh, pretty interesting. You get to see how they dug out the tree and made their nest. It's actually the last removal I did this year, so make sure to give it a like down there. And uh, stay tuned. I got a video coming where I open up a bald face hornet nest, show you what's inside and how they make it. And uh, other than that, I'm going to do a poll later in the week to see what else you guys would like to see in the off season. Uh, been up for about two and a half months now. We've gotten 5,000 subscribers. I thank you all for staying tuned. And uh, next season, we are going to get much bigger and the videos are going to get better. So stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, anyone else have any ideas of stuff they'd like to see me do videos on over the winter? Shoot me a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. All right, so sorry for the little shaky movement here. But uh, <laughs> I gotta like climb through the bushes. But you see down in here, they are building into the base of this bush. You see some of the nest. It looks like the nest is under there. You can clearly see somebody had uh, tried to mess with it and probably didn't have a fun time there. But uh, I don't know. I'm gonna probably take my saws off, cut these branches all down just so we can actually see a little better of the nest there, but it's looking like it's underneath this bush. You can kind of see, like right here, there's nest under there. Visible nest, so. Uh, it's gonna be a fun one. Said the uh, lawn guy got attacked a couple times in a row, so. We'll see what we can do here. So, uh, as things seem to normally work out, <laughs> the only power outlets on the complete opposite side of the house. I brought a 25 foot extension cord. I didn't bring my 100 foot one. No one's home at the house, so that's just not gonna work out so good. As you can see, all the nest is like right here. Let's see if we can. Uh, Stir a little bit of activity here up. Yeah. Again, it's kind of late fall, so we don't have too much activity out of this nest. I can see one right here. Oh, they're starting to come out. Hold on. I'm going to take you out just to give you some close ups of it real quick. You can see the little entranceway they've been using right here. Do, do, do. It looks like they've actually been digging into the tree. And then of course, all this envelope and nest. So you see there's actually a nest exposed here. There's a couple of the yellow jackets here. You see they're not really too active. It is pretty cold. I'd say it's probably about 40 degrees out right now. I would have preferred to come into this house, honestly, like towards late afternoon when it was in about the 60s. But, of course, the customer said they were only going to be home from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And uh, they were not home. I see a couple guys going in. Got a few guys coming out. Oh, this tripod's just so tall, it kind of sucks. So, I mean, obviously, I think I'm just going to try to pry this bush, break as much of it off as I can. Oh yeah, that nest is like inside of this thing. Hold on. <laughs> I'm giving you this nice still tripod shot and then I keep screwing it up and taking it off. But uh, you can see down in here, they actually built, it's all envelope right there. They built inside this branch. So, I keep taking it off. Look, you see, it's really not too active, though. Arr. So, uh, I think I'm gonna put you down for a minute. I'm gonna break this chunk off. Use all my force since. I don't have no power tools reachable here. And uh, we'll see what we can get. 
A little activity down there. I mean, it's cool how they built it. I'm gonna say that. It's for sure. Look at that. They're like, if you look in here, like that was them chewing that. They used the cellulose from the wood and their saliva to make the envelope, the little encasement of the nest, this stuff right here. It's actually made out of wood and saliva. So when they uh, build in a little tree like this, it's pretty much unlimited supplies for them to keep building. I really didn't have to do much there, huh? Obviously, I think we're gonna have to break more off because I think it just keeps going. You can tell end of season, all the larvae are hatched. Um, there is definitely some activity now. Guys are going in and out. It looks like the nest kind of goes back over into this area. So I think I'm gonna have to break most of this off just to access, access. Gotta talk funny, but uh, as we can see. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they can't fly yet. Pretty, pretty work. Yeah, I just want to give you one more shot of that wood that they were chewing on. I mean, it is rather impressive how they can hollow that thing out. It almost looks like a saw cut that from the inside. Like it's just a perfect cut. Very impressive. Yeah, let's see. And this definitely goes up in that tree. So, uh... Well, I got it enough out of the way. <laughs> the rest of this wood is pretty rotted. Oh, yeah! You got some activity going. Hold on. I got a little treat for you guys. We'll be right back. Alright, back. Oh boy. Come on, buddy. Oh, I got that one. It's not really the greatest. I saw somebody ask if I would use one once. So it's been sitting in the truck. I've been waiting for ground wasps just because I want them to actually swarm at me to use it, but you know, we'll do what we can. Anyone's gonna come out now that I brought it though, of course. So let's just keep messing with it. Hopefully some guys come out to attack. Oh yeah, now we're pissing them off. Oh, you guys realize you're actually screwed here, huh? But uh, all right, so a little bit more of the nest we got going. You can see lots of wasps. Oh yeah. Impressive. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. Oh, I got one. You tell when it makes a little pop noise, that's when it actually hits one. I mean, definitely an uh, impressive sized nest for being in a little bush. It really goes in there too. Let's uh, take you out for some close-ups again. So, this is what we're working with so far. Pretty decent sized nest for in a bush. And I mean, you can see down in here, there's a decent amount more up in there. Again though, I mean, all the larvae are hatched. This nest was a uh, great success for them thrived the whole season 
all of their babies are out and doing their thing. We see a couple little larvae in there. These ones probably would not have made it through the winter anyways, so no loss on them getting killed here. But again, pretty much all of them have been fully gotten, so. Just a big, thick piece of envelope. That's about it, but I mean, hell, look at the way I uh, hollowed this tree out. That cavity is pretty impressive there. I mean, at one point in time, before they decided to make this their home, that was a solid piece of wood in there. I mean, definitely impressive work. I give Yellow Jackets credit. I mean, they are quite impressive bugs. I don't really see too many other bugs do stuff like this. So the entrance was right up here. That's where they were going in. And we can see nothing left in there. Our score was pretty good. So hard to get them to actually go on it. It's like they know. <laughs> Got a couple there. Do, 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 do. Na, 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 na. I think that's about all the swarm. But uh, if you guys enjoy, remember, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, like uh, you've seen in the last few videos, it is really getting towards the end of the season. I am. Uh, not gonna be able to really make too many more this year. So I'm gonna do some other bug videos and uh, next year I got a lot more equipment. I've been advertising on Facebook doing nests on the side to try to keep a little more coming in. I'm gonna try to make my own wasp removal service next summer and try to offer that on the side and, until it takes off and see how we go from there. I'd love to uh, do like the vacuum stuff, like everyone says. Everyone's always tells me to use the vacuum. Check out some of my other videos. I do use the vacuum here and there. It's just normally on side jobs because uh, doing pest control, everything's on a time basis. So I don't really have time to vacuum them all the time. But uh, yeah, another great success. Give you a few more parting shots of that comb and everything. Very successful nest though. End of season. They thrived all year. And I mean these guys, all the haters that are like, oh you're killing the ecosystem. These guys got like a couple of days left before the frost hits and they're screwed. So not really hurting much here. I promise you guys. He actually stung me. You see like the little venom spot in my glove there. Dun, dun, dun. Poor little guy. He's like, I can't fly away. My butt is stuck. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have uh, some other awesome videos coming up. I think this will probably be like my last new video for the year when you guys are seeing this one. So, we'll see. Do, do, do. I still got a couple others I'm putting up though, so you guys probably aren't going to see this until it's already snowing out. By then, we are on our way to next season. So, see you guys next time and uh, stick around. We're going to have a lot of awesome stuff coming. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching the whole video. Uh, if you want to really help my channel out, uh, let me know in the comments below where you found me from. Uh, I got a lot of viewers from Reddit, I got a lot from Facebook, and uh, a good amount from suggested videos on YouTube. Uh, just uh, let me know below where you found me so I know where my more interactive viewers are coming from. Thanks guys.